Okay, so in the shop today, we're working on this Mazda Miata. It's a 99 model year, and we're going to be converting it from an automatic transmission to a manual transmission. So we're going to take a quick look in here at what we've done so far. So you can see we pulled out the center console. Uh, really, this piece is not any different between an automatic and a manual. So to get the shifter out, there's just four screws down here. And they're actually, you'll notice, in the same exact mounting positions as a manual transmission for the boot that's on that. So you can see it's still connected to the transmission, so we'll disconnect that linkage from the underside. But those four bolts take it out, and then there's one wire harness here, plugs in right there. It's kind of a pain to get to because the tab's on the bottom. But yeah, so that whole thing will come out, and then we'll be able to put uh, the manual transmission shifter and boot and everything pretty much just exactly uh, how it would normally be. Let's take a look underneath the car. So taking a look from the underside of the car here, uh, we've got the exhaust mostly disconnected at this point. And uh, we're really just in the early phases here of getting things disconnected. So you'll see up here, this is that clip that goes into the linkage. It's got some junk in it, but there's basically just a, uh, a cotter pin on there. We'll pop that off and then the shifter will be free. And then so far all we've really taken off is some of the exhaust stuff. And then you'll notice there's some mounting points here. Oh, there's a couple more at the front, One right here, um, that holds the transmission cooler lines. So we yanked those out. So once the shifter and the transmission cooler lines are out, um, the rest of the removal is gonna feel a lot like standard, you know, removing a manual transmission. Um, this is where those cooler lines hooked up here. So we just unthreaded those. But yeah, we're gonna start just disconnecting more stuff. Okay, so we got the transmission out. We're gonna just cover really quickly some of the different components that have to get swapped. So we've got the automatic transmission out, got the manual here ready to go in, and then along with this you can see the the old power plant frame has to come out because um, it's significantly shorter than the one that's used for a manual transmission. So that's all the way out. So we're going to swap those over and then the drive shaft also is unique for the manual, so we've got a, a drive shaft to put in. Then coming to the underside of the car, there's a couple of things here that we have to do with the wiring. Um, it's honestly all pretty straightforward considering what kind of conversion we're doing. Um, but there's basically this harness here that was alongside the transmission. You can see for the automatic, it's got four different connectors here. It's got this big one, and then a couple of smaller ones. So out of all these wires, you can see this one's got a whole bunch in it. So out of all these wires, we're gonna need six of them to go to the manual transmission. So those six you can easily find. You got this connector here. This is for the speed sensor, easily identifiable because it's got a yellow and an orange wire. So we're gonna cut this connector off and then just use bullet connectors to uh, splice that in over to the speed sensor on the manual transmission, because um, it is a unique sensor, so it won't just plug in, unfortunately. The other four wires that you need are in this big connector, and I'll have those uh, described in detail in the description of the video, so you can find those. Um, but there'll be two wires here for the neutral safety switch, and then two wires for the reverse lights. So those are the only three functions that the manual transmission will have. It's the, the speed sensor, the neutral switch, and the uh, reverse lights. So it's important to get all those hooked up. And the rest of these wires, we're basically gonna just trim back and um, make sure that we seal them off so that they don't short out or anything. So we're here under the hood now. We're gonna take a look 
at what we're going to do um, to get the pedal situation taken care of and a little bit more of the wiring. So we haven't taken anything apart here yet, but you can see down here this sort of gold colored plate. So what that is, that's actually a mounting device for the electronic controller for the automatic transmission. So we'll go under the dash there and take a look from the other side. But basically, that is just a cover plate for the hole that we're going to use for the master cylinder and the studs that attach the, um, the pedal bracket as well. So there's no drilling or cutting needed. That's basically just going to unbolt, and then we're going to bolt the pedals and the master cylinder in there. So we'll go under the dash and take a look at what that looks like. All right, so it's a little... It's a little bit cramped under here, but we're going to take a look. So if we go up here, basically where the clutch pedal is going to go, you can see this is the ECU for the engine, and then there's the ECU here for the transmission. And then it's got a wiring harness that plugs into the back of it here. So these, it might be hard to see on the video, um, but these are two separate boxes. And then you can see back there the gold plate that we saw under the hood. So basically all that's just gonna unbolt and the clutch pedal will go right there. And then there'll be some wiring. We're gonna do a little bit of wiring work with this connector here. So we'll show that once we get a little closer to that. But you basically just have to jumper some wires together um, because otherwise it'd be an open circuit with the ECU missing. Um, and that will make sure that you get the, uh, the speed showing on the dashboard when we're done. All right, so we got a couple of things removed here. So we'll take another look and see. We removed the, the ECU for both the engine and for the transmission. So now you can see in there, we've got the hole, pulled the plate out. So we've got a hole straight through to the, uh, to the engine bay so we can put in the master cylinder. And we also have the brake pedal removed. So we'll take a look in the engine bay. So you can see there, we got the plate out, so now we can easily bolt in the clutch pedal assembly. We got that stuff over here on the bench. So that was the bracket that holds the automatic transmission computer. So you can see that bolts in, and the clutch pedal is just gonna bolt in in its place. Using the same holes, there's the little backing plate. And then I pulled out the brake pedal. It's got the wider style for the automatic. So we're going to put in the narrower style that comes with the manuals. And for me, I always find it a lot easier to just remove the pedal itself with this upper yellow bolt here versus take this. Otherwise, you have to take the whole bracket out and uh, deal with the throttle cable, all that stuff. So I find it's easier to just swap the pedal. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the important wiring modification we're going to make down here You've got this connector here, this gray one. That's what plugs into the computer for the automatic transmission. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this connector off and take a couple of the wires that are in here and basically just splice them to each other to basically sort of bypass this connector. So again, that description will be um, in the description for the video. So you can see which colors we're doing and, uh, and what effect that has. Um, but yeah, basically that'll make the speedometer work. So otherwise you just have an open circuit for the speedometer circuit. We'll take a look under here now, and we're pretty much ready for the transmission to come in. We've got the new flywheel and clutch installed, pressure plate, and then we took the wiring that we showed here before, and we just spliced in blade connectors for the speed sensor, and then we've got bullet connectors for the neutral switch and the reverse lights. So we've got those set. Everything else, all the other wires we didn't need, we capped off the ends of them and just tucked them back in the harness there to keep everything clean, keep water out of anything. And yeah, we're all set for the trans to come in now. So at this point, we've got most of the conversion complete. One of the last steps is the center console is exactly the same between the automatic and manual 
And then if you just buy an OEM style shift boot, it will attach in just like that. There's a couple of screws that go in the back. And that will put the finishing touches on the conversion. Okay, so here's the finished product. Got the master cylinder installed down here. And uh, we ended up buying an OEM hard line. So it runs across and uses the existing bracket. Even the automatic cars have the little bracket there so we can run everything exactly as it was intended to be. And then if we take a look inside, see we got the the center console all put back together the uh, shifter is a little bit inconspicuous um, but we got that sort of fitted with the original boot and then the pedals all there you would basically just never even know that it didn't come this way so there you have it a complete automatic to manual swap everything functions as intended no check engine lights Turned out really nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching.